All right, we're gonna bust some plates today. Now, before I start, there is an issue I need to address. I was trying to ignore the issue, but now it's come to the point to where I have to address it. So, swimmer's cut. This is your standard swimmer's cut. You just lose the corner because, well, you know I can't put a shot there anyway, and if I did put a shot there, it wouldn't be a legal shot. Not a problem. I did not address swimmer's cuts in the, in the rules, so they are totally legal. However, when I measure my out of bounds, it's not from right here. It's from the original 10 by 12. What I mean by that is if I were to measure from right here and I put a shot right there, that would be out of bounds. But I can't do that because depending on how you do your swimmer's cuts, there might not be enough room for all the shots. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. So even if you put swimmer's cuts, I measure 10 by 12 because I need that many spaces to do my test. So if I put a shot right here, that is still a legal shot, even though it's closer than two inches to the edge. The example on this would be this plate right here. So I'm going to do my best not to put a shot right here because I don't want to be a dickhead about it. I'll st skip these two squares if possible. But let's pretend this is one of the final, final plates and I shoot and for some reason, you know, I pull a shot or something like that and it happens to land right here where there's only one piece of material and like there's a nick, like it's clear I shot right there. That's still a legal hit. So it would pass through this and it would lose over some stupid technicality, but I have to count that. Because like for example, he measured it and already put the squares in there for me. But he measured from the swimmer's cuts. As you notice, with this particular plate, there's only six places to hit. My testing goes 45, AK-47, 223, 300 PRC, then it'd be 223 again, 243. Well, there's not enough space to do the rest of the testing. So because I never actually like put it down, like, hey, swimmer's cuts are illegal, you can use them. However, when I measure my plates though, I'm going to measure it and the legal hits will be as if there wasn't swimmer cuts there. So make sure not to make your swimmer's cuts. So even if I hit, like grid it out from 10, from side to side, side to side, and do your grid, this grid is completely legal. Even this right here where it's not even really touching the plate. So make sure when you do your cuts that it does not have something like this. I'm not a dick, I'm gonna avoid these spots, but if this is like one of the final plates and it's for the grand prize, and a shot just so happens to land there, it's game over. But again, I'm gonna avoid these spots because I didn't really address the issue and I was trying to ignore it and pretend it would go away, but I'm getting more and more plates. There's actually two in the pile that are cut like that, which I'll show you in a little bit. All right, let's go over all the plates we'll be shooting today. So the first one is from Professional Prepper. Uh, it's a decent plate. It weighs 8.7 pounds, totally legal. It meets 10 by 12, totally legal. Now you included this other thing right here. I don't know if you want me to shoot this separately, I'm guessing. So I'm just gonna hit it with the big boy right away. We'll go 300 PRC, because it's obviously a saying illegal plate. I thought maybe you would want it taped to the other plate, but when I put the two together, it's over nine pounds, so I can't do that. I tried clicking on the link for your video, but I think this is a dead link because it won't work. Just kidding. I'll shoot you an email later and then I'll get the link for your video and post it on my channel. Very cool design. The next plate weighs 8.8 .8 pounds. It's from Raymond from Tennessee. Oh, the other one's from, uh. Jonathan from Arizona. Very nice plate, decided to use swimmer cuts, kept it underweight, good to go. Again, remember, even if the shot lands right here, even though it's closer than two inches to the side, I measure from here to here and here to here. But it wouldn't have been a problem on this plate, and like I said, I was trying to kind of ignore the issue because now that I've brought up swimmer cuts, everyone's gonna use them now. And it's not against the rules, you totally can. Just make sure that your cut, it still keeps it so you're comfortable with the shot landing right there. This one will be fine because it's only like a half of an inch closer to the edge, so it'll still have plenty of structure. But this would be a legal shot. Again, I'm going to try avoiding these areas, but if it lands there, it lands there. I got to count it. 
Very nice plate, very well put together. Put a little note on the back for me. Pretty cool. Uh, number six, it's from Scott from New Jersey. Weighs 8.2 pounds. Put together very nicely. Use the tile pattern. I think this is going to do really well. Again, it should have shot land right there. I got to count it, but I'm going to avoid this area. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up, but sometimes I miss. It just happens. Uh, next, we got PMH Customs from Florida. 7.4 pounds. It is, yes, it is the lightest submission of this particular round. Cool design. Looks like he has like some sort of copper in there. Fiberglass. It looks cool. Next one, Dave, David from GA. Nine pounds, hit it right on the mark. I actually thought this was gonna get DQ'd for a second because my scale went 9.1, but then I picked it up and I set it back on the scale and it reg registered nine and it froze at nine. So this is a nine pound plate right on the money. Did the square design, fits 10 by 12. Now it looks like some sort of fiberglass and melted plastic in there. Pretty cool design. Then we got David from Pennsylvania. 7.5 pounds, almost the lightest submission, but not quite. Uh, looks like some sort of airbag. And there's something hard in the center. Kind of, kind of interested to see how well this plate does. And it's light too. Then number two is from, from Indiana. 8.8 pounds, use swimmer cuts. Again, it's getting pretty close to the edge, but I think it'll still do just fine. Pretty nice plate. Squares look kind of big. Let me double check your squares real quick. And they are a little big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still got plenty of space. Uh, this is actually the only DQ'd plate this submission. And again, where's my tape measure? Two inches. This is another plate where this is actually a legal shot right here where it's not even touching the plate. So definitely watch your swimmer's cuts. This one's actually DQ'd anyways because it's 11.2 pounds. It's James from New York. But I think this one is actually going to do very, very well because of the extra weight and the swimmer cuts. I bet you this thing will stop the 300 PRC. We'll find out though. But again, I'm going to just test it anyways, even though it's DQ, just to see how well it did so you can get an idea of the design. It looks like he used some sort of ceramic, some sort of poly plastic, and then either looks like aluminum plate on the back, maybe a quarter inch of it. Three eighths aluminum plate on the back. I honestly think this one's gonna do really well. It'll be really cool to see if it'll stop the 300 PRC. But anyways, let's hop out on the range and smash some plates and see how they do. All right, so last time I shot, the person had seen his plate and like the pre-shoot, but then didn't actually see the plate get shot. Wasn't intentional. I just have a whole bunch of editing because this will be like 45 minutes of filming that I will compress down to like 10 minutes. So. In an attempt to try to avoid that from happening again, I've lined up all the plates. Obviously, they're not all going to stay up while I shoot them because they don't have their individual backstops. But I'm going to shoot as many as I can, go down there with the camera, pick up the ones that tipped over, and then shoot those and go down there with the camera again so I don't accidentally lose somebody shooting and editing. And again, if that was your plate, I apologize. No foul play there. I believe that was the DQ'd plate anyway. But all right, let's start off. We're going to be starting off with the 45, 230 grain. Full metal jacket.
All right, they all stayed up. Let's go down there and check it out and see if we had any pass-throughs and make sure that all of them are legal hit. All right, here's the strike. Did not pass through. Here's the strike. Bulge, but no pass through. Here's the strike. Uh, this one's actually out of bounds, so if it passed through, I'll reshoot this one. No pass through. Strike. Uh, it like deflected it. It didn't even enter in. That's pretty crazy. Strike. No pass through. Strike. No pass through. Strike. No pass through. Strike. No pass through. Not too bad. All plates made it past level one. So let's go up to level two to the AK-47. Well, I'm getting low on AK ammo, so I'm going to have to buy some more, which sucks because it's like way overpriced right now. But let's go check it out and see what kind of damage we did. All right, here we got the strike. It is two inches. No pass through. Uh, I don't know which one's the 45 and which one's the AK, but either way, there's a strike. Ooh, we did get a pass through. This one is eliminated. That's plate number two. All right, so 45, AK, that's probably just over two inches. Ah, we did get a pass through, that is eliminated. Right here's the strike. I'll have to pull out the tape measure if we get a pass through. And we did get a pass through. So I will pull out the tape measure on this one. Let me double check this one. No, that's within two inches. All right, uh, I believe this was the 45, so here's the AK. No pass through. Not sure which one's the 45 and which one's the AK. It does look like it's in two inches though. So I'll have to pull up the tape measure and check that. Nope, don't need to, no pass through. 45, AK, that is within two inches. So if there's a pass through, I'm going to reshoot this one. And there is a pass through. And this one, no pass through, but a bulge. And here's the strike. So I'm going to reshoot this one. And I have to tape measure this one. All right, it's a 32nd over two inches. So that is a legal hit. Just barely, but this plate did lose now. All right, we're going to retest the one plate because the last shot was too close to the other one, so that one doesn't count. So let's retest that plate real quick with the AK before we move on to the next round. That is a legal hit, and it did pass through. All right, now we're moving up to the MLP. Any one of these plates besides that disqualified plate that can stop this is in tie for first place.
yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so I believe this was my hit. I can't remember which one it is. Either way, it did stop it. So that's pretty cool. With this one, I think, I don't actually know which one is the hit. Oh, right there. This is the hit. It did pass through, but I'd call that within two inches. I'll double check with the tape measure before I reshoot it. But this one's gonna have to be reshot. No pass through, uh, and it's really close. But still, it did stop it, so that's really awesome. So this one continues on. My shot, it did pass through right there. I'll reshoot this one too. That does look like, like I guarantee it's at least two inches. But just to be safe, I'll put it I'll put it up here. So I'm gonna be retesting this one. And this one with the MLP, I'm gonna put both shots up in the top corner. Right there and right there. All right, reshoot with the MLP. We're gonna go top left corner on both of them because that should be legal hits. All right, here's my shot. It did pass through because I can see a puncture in the barrel. So this plate is done. Man, that's like right on top of the other one. I'm gonna reshoot this one just to be safe because that, I'll go right here. All right, bottom left, reshoot, MLP. Finally got a legal hit, and that is a pass. All right, so right now, regardless, the plate on the right is in tie for first place. However, if it can stop my 300 PRC, it's taking first place. I'm also gonna shoot the plate on the left, even though that is a disqualified plate, just to see how well it would have done. All right, 225 grain, 300 PRC. Where to put it? All right, now for the other plate. Uh, actually, let me go change the angle on that one real quick. Cause that's, I don't like the angle of that one. All right, 300 PRC on the disqualified plate. Right, let's go check it out all right so what do we got here the disqualified plate stopped the 300 prc that's pretty crazy and then the legal plate i'll be a son of a bitch it is now in first place it did successfully stop 300 prc we're going to continue on with the testing to see how far this plate will go so now we're going to hit it with the black 13 shooting 45 grain Flying at 3,600 feet per second. If I can get this thing to stand up. All right, black 13, 45 grain, 3,600 feet per second. Let's see how they hold up.
All right, so here's the 300 PRC. Here's the black 13. Oh, and it did stop it. Nice. Got that one set back up. So here's the DQ'd plate. Right here's where I put the black 13. It did stop it. All right, now we're going up against the shredder. This is a 243 flying roughly at 3,900 feet per second. Let's see how they do. All right, let's go check it out. Oh damn, it almost penetrated. It shattered the plate in the back, but it didn't quite make it through. I put it right there. Not too bad at all. Then here's the plate that was DQ'd. Also stopped it. Not bad at all. Last, but certainly not least, the SCAR-17 shooting actual Armor piercing ammunition. See how they hold up. Let's go check it out. So I did get a pass through. My shot was supposed to go right here. Ah, uh, this plate's done for. I'm gonna put another one right here though, just to see, so the viewer can see how good it does, but it doesn't, no matter what, it did pass through. So if somebody stops an AP round on my scar, then they're good to go. Also with the DQ plate, it did also pass through. It passed through right there. That was my hit, definitely a clean hit, not by any other hits. So we're gonna reshoot this one. I'm gonna put the round right here. This way it's definitely away from everything and it still gets to hit the ceramic because I'm just simply curious if it would have stopped it. But this is still a legal hit. There was not a hit anywhere near this. I'll double check the footage just to make sure. Should I find out there was a hit near this, then this is the one we will count off of. Scar 17, actual AP ammunition. We're gonna go low right because that's a totally like fresh part of the plate. All right, let's see if it stopped it this time. No, it still passed through. Here's the exit hole right there. And I hit low right. It literally just ripped a chunk of the plate off. All right, so I do have a new current first place. That's number six, which would be Scotty from NJ. And I tried it even on a fresh part of plate. Like this part had absolutely no damage or no cracking on it. And the scar did penetrate. So you have 30 days or it must be postmarked by October 6th, and you have to beat the Scar to win, or you have to beat the Shredder to tie with him. That's it. As of October 6th, I'll wait like another week or so just to make sure there isn't any latecomers in. If you haven't submitted by then, it doesn't matter. That is the cutoff to at least tie with him. To beat him, you gotta stop the Scar shooting actual AP ammunition. Now, should I get a tie? I don't know exactly how I'm going to break the tie. I think what I'll do is I'll bring all the tying participants on a live stream, and we can discuss it and come up with the best idea for a tiebreaker. But yes, as of right now, Scotty, you are the current winner. And if nobody can beat the Scar within 30 days, you're at least minimal tied for first place. If nobody can beat the Shredder in 30 days, then you win. Uh, if you'd like to help submit one of your designs, send it to this address right here. These are the rules. It must be 
less than nine pounds. It must be at least 10 by 12 inches wide. It must be less than five inches thick. That's the only rules. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope uh, you'll submit some. Again, here's the address. Uh, if you like to help support the channel, i got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Just by clicking on those links, even if you don't purchase what that particular link is for. Just clicking on that. And then doing the Amazon shopping you were already going to do anyway. A little kickback because you came there off my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.